Hi, my name is Penny, and I am going to show you how to export an animation from Maya and import it into Unity. Um, and in Unity, I'm also going to be showing you how to do some animation edits in Unity. Um, first, I'm going to open up Maya and grab my model that I have, model with animations. Um, so hopefully beforehand you would have made an animation. Looks all nice and stuff like that. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to select the skeleton. So you can't just, well you can just do this, right? But we don't want to do that. We want to do it, make sure that we get every everything in the skeleton. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to click on the main joint and then we're going to click on select hierarchy. And so it's going to select everything under that main joint. Um, I can show you a confirmation way. Um, if you just click that and you can expand the list, and you see that it did indeed select the hierarchy. So now that we have the hierarchy selected, you can go to Edit, Keys, Bake Simulation. Okay, and so once that's baked, you don't need to click anything else. Just go to File, Export Selection, and we want an FBX export. So we want to export the animation if we can get that checked off. There it is. Check that box for animation. And we want it to end at 110. So that sounds pretty good to me. We don't really need much of anything else. So what we can do then is go to the location um, within Unity uh, is the best way that I like to do it. And so I'm going to go to the Assets folder. Another way that you can get to uh, your repository location is you can um, right click and copy file path and that can help or in my case I got it stored under documents github and then the game name and assets so we're going to go to our dedicated animation folder thinly and then we're going to select that to copy the file location select that and paste the file location it's really the easiest way to do it so I'm going to name this after Finley angry but I'm going to add a variation to it and title it end um, that's because this is what happens when he dies, right? So we're going to do an FBX exportation and export. Easy peasy. So we can minimize Maya. And go in here and it'll import that there. And then so we need to go into Finley and we need to open the prefab. So now we have Finley here. Little cute little guy. Um, so first we're going to, now that we have the prefab opened, we need to navigate back to our animations folder, back to Finley, and look at the new angry that we just imported. So in this case, we imported angry end. So we're going to click on the rig tag here, and we're going to go to copy from other avatar. The source of that avatar is going to be our predefined Finley rigged final avatar. Once we got that selected, we should be good. Standard four bones, pretty good. Everything's good on that. Um, then we click apply. Now, um, if we go into the animator, and I'm just going to do a test here and kind of show you what I mean. If we click on celebrate, and then we open up our end here. Just to make sure. So this is showing us what's all under this packaged prefab. And we've got here a take one. Now, um, take this in here, drag and drop it into take one. And then we can press control six. That opens up this animator window. If we click the hierarchy, number one, Finley, it'll show all the animations under Finley. So take one is in there. It's as a Rita only, right? We click that, and if we click on the scene, we can see Finley. But if we scrub it, Fadley gets really, really small. And we're like, what What the hell, Friendly? Like, you're not supposed to be small, because if you look at his eating, for example, this looks fine, right? So there's a workaround that we can do if something like this happens. Um, we can't edit any of these keys, even if we wanted to, because it's read-only. So we have to close out of this animation window and go into here to take one, do Control-D. That duplicates it and makes it take two. So in take two, we're going to name it Friendly angry end. 
sort of named after our um, original, right? Close that down. Go back into our animator. Click on celebrate. And drag and drop the new take in there. And then we go back into our animation window, control 6. Select Finley. And now Finley Angry End is now editable. So let's go back into the scene here. And then we're going to scroll down. Um, I found that these things don't really make a difference. So scroll down and we see the scale keys, right? So there's keys on scale. And so you're like, hey, well, why don't you just not key scale in Maya? And so I go back to Maya, right? Let's go to animation. It is showing up there. But if I close out, you don't need to save because I don't need to because sometimes if you try to control Z while it's baked, it does crazy, crazy things. So I'm going to show you just real quick. Because you'd be like, oh, hey, um, if the main joint scale rotation position is all keyed, then it's going to take the original scale from the in-game Unity project and it's going to move it down to the scaled key, right? So let's select the skeleton here. Scale is not selected. And notice that translates, we actually do want that because in some cases our model will go up, right? Not in this case, but it happens in the other cases with jumping and and so on. So scale wasn't there, but when I baked it, it showed up. Um, so now I just need to edit this animation in Maya. If I click delete, and then if I play angry end, He's no longer scaling down according to those keys. But there is another problem that also shows up. If you say Finley Idle, he's not supposed to be that low. Show you again. Watch his position. He shrinks. Not shrinks, but moves down. That's not good. So what I like to do is I will go up here and I'll say I want to click on the X perspective and I want to go to orthographic view and use the middle mouse. Zoom in. Then we can kind of get an idea as to where he needs to be. So the idle, his bottom fin is right at that line, right? So we go back into angry end, see where he's at, and we need to move him up. So what we can do, should be able to just do that, right? But we can also go in, go into joint position, right? I believe it's the Y axis. Can delete those keys. Okay, so that didn't key it, but that's fine because I already, I know that I can just take this little slider here, move Finley up, and then fine tune it to say like say 405, which is what I knew from beforehand. Move it over here, and if I press Enter while I'm still selected on that box, it'll make a key where I want it. So now when I play the animation, he'll stay on that point. And I can also notice some other things that I might not like. Um, I know from experience that Finley here is, you know, this is the ground, so his bottom fin actually lines up pretty close to the floor of the daycare. So if he were to animate like this in the game, he was his face would clip through, and then his dorsal fin will clip through, and then his rear tail will clip through. So we can do some things to see if we can fix that. So if we want to do this here, we can raise him up just a wee bit. It'll make a key. Does that. Now he starts to shrink. We don't really want him to shrink yet. We want him to stay up. Okay. And we're just adjusting to see what happens when this when we, when we do this. So if we play this animation, there's a play key right here. And it looks kind of good because it looks like he's floating up a little bit. Um, obviously could use some fine tuning, but this works as a temporary fix for something like this. Um, and you can obviously, this is how you can edit other things in the, en in the engine rather than Maya. Um, you can take these keys and you can put them in and they're not as easy as it is in Maya, but it is possible and I thought that I might show you that. And so once you do that, the prefab is already fixed. So then when you go into Git, and you pull Origin, and then push your changes. Now I'm not going to push these changes because this is a temporary fix. 
uh, not a, this is a demonstration, and I sort of need to have Finley using the actual celebration, not the angry. So I'll just go back in here, actually. Let's see if I can make sure I got the right one. Pop, pop, pop. There we go. And that's it.